Welcome to McFly Angler. I've never been a guide, but I still enjoy teaching people how to catch more fish. So join me in this video where I show you how I tie this fly. Before we start tying this fly, we will want to make a dubbing brush. Now I like using ice dub for this flash, and the kraken dubbing for some legs. And I also add a few long legs as well. You can see how buggy this brush is. It's basically a bunch of legs just hanging off of it. Do this how you want to, but for my needs, I added a sparse amount of ice dub and then evenly tried to add some legs of two different color crack and dubbing. Then I cut off two light colored bug legs as well and cut them in half and added them to the brush spaced out evenly. Then cut off two red legs and cut them in fours. Then add them evenly along the brush as well. It's very important to add some dubbing wax onto your wire to hold everything tightly. Just spin up the brush as tight as you can and make sure and comb it out. But there we go, a leg filled brush perfect for this fly. Okay, let's start tying the fly now. For a hook, I like the size two Risen O'Shagnessy hook. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. But they're strong, sharp, stainless, and a great price. For thread, I'm using Vivas 140 power thread in brown. But you can use any strong thread or stainless hooks that you like. Start your thread a little ways down the hook shank. It doesn't really matter where and then snip off the waist. Now we want to add some craft fur for a tail. I like to snip off the craft fur in even patches like so. Make sure and strip out the under fur and you can align the tips of the longer fibers if you want. Also, you'll probably want about double this amount for a size two fly, so clip more if you need to. Measure out about two times the hook shank from the bend of the hook, and then tie it down to the bend of the hook with tight wraps. When clipping off the waist, make sure and do so at an angle to help taper the tie-in point slightly. Now for some legs. I really like using silly legs here. You don't need much length here, so for me, I cut a single strand in half. To tie this in, I like tying them in on top and then pull them down on either side of the tail so they are tied in on the side of the fly like so. Also, you want them to extend back about as long as the tail. Now we want two crystal flash strands and keep them full length. Turn the fly upside down and tie the crystal flash in so two strands split the hook and extend slightly further back than the tail. Then pull the forward facing strands rearward and tie those in on either side of the hook as well and then cut them a little shorter to about half the length of the tail. Now for a dubbing brush. Go ahead and tie this in securely right up against the tail and then bring your thread forward. Now at the front of the fly, you'll want to build a sort of thread lump to hold the dumbbell eyes. For eyes, I like going extra heavy with these medium sized lead eyes. Tie them in on top of the hook, right behind the eye of the hook with X wraps and under wraps and with your thread right behind the eyes. Now make touching wraps with your brush while stroking all the fibers and legs rearward with every wrap. Make these tight wraps and then tuck a few in behind the eyes as well. Now capture the loop securely and bring your thread forward ahead of the eyes. You can whip finish your fly now, since the tying portion is finished. Now it's time to tease out the brush and legs with your bodkin. You can cut any of the legs that have looped, like so. Now it's time to cement the head, and I like using bone dry UV curing resin. I will also link a review to the light I am using below. If you don't have UV resin, you could also just use super glue. Now, I forgot a very important step in tying this fly, the barring of the tail. 
I usually take a sharpie and bar the tail before adding any other materials, but I forgot while being busy with filming. So here I am pulling all the materials rearward and trying to bar the craft fur on the tail. This is much easier done without the rest of the materials tied on. It looks great wet, and it moves really nicely in the water due to all the rubber legs and soft and flowing craft fur tail. As you might have seen, I used some materials made by Risen Fly. They have offered all of you a discount on everything in their shop by simply typing in the discount code McFly at checkout. This is just as a thank you for being my subscriber. Also, you can grab my McFly branded shirts and jackets and other merchandise down below this video. Yes, those are mine right there. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.